Hier, Elon Musk nous a montré un sacré spectacle. Je pense que vous allez beaucoup l'apprécier et je mesure à peine mes mots. Cette conférence de Tesla était complètement folle. Et l'annonce finale de la conférence a été complètement, complètement folle, vous allez voir. Je vais vous laisser écouter chaque annonce majeure faite par Elon Musk, mais voici la première annonce majeure. Musk nous montre donc ici, ce soir, 50 voitures entièrement autonomes et coordonnées entre elles. Je vous laisse l'écouter et nous pourrons voir l'annonce suivante. Welcome to the Wii Robot Party. So we, we, have, uh, we have quite a show for you tonight. I think, uh, I think you're going to like it. Uh, as you can see, I just uh, arrived in the Robotaxi, the Cybercab. And uh, there's uh, 20 more where that came from. So they've been traveling. They're all, there's no people in them, as you can see. The car's just going by with no people. And we have, uh, we have 50 fully autonomous cars here tonight. Uh, So you'll see Model Ys and the Cyber Cab, uh, all driverless. Uh, you'll, you'll be able to take a ride in the Cyber Cab. There's no steering wheel or pedals. So I hope this goes well. <laughs> we'll find out. So it, we'll move from supervised full self-driving to uns unsupervised full self-driving, where The car, you could, you could fall asleep and wake up at your destination. So, uh, but there's also a challenge uh, for a lot of people that uh, cars cost too much. I mean, when you factor in everything that goes into a car and the car insurance and the car payments and the storage of the car, it's, uh, it's very expensive. So, with, uh, and you say, like, how often are, what, how many hours a week are cars used? your average passenger car is only used about 10 hours a week out of 168 hours. So the vast majority of the time, cars are just doing nothing. But if they're autonomous, they could be used, I don't know, five times more, maybe, maybe 10 times more. So you could actually, for the, the same car, would have five times as much value, maybe, maybe 10 times as much value. It's, it's there's 100, 168 hours in the week, And like I said, only 10 of them are used for driving. So, and then, and then a bunch of those hours are looking for a parking spot, which is, you know, can be pretty annoying at times. So, so we want, with, with autonomy, you get, you get your time back. This is a very big deal. So it's, it's not just a safe, like, it'll, it'll save lives, like a lot of lives, um, and prevent injuries. I, I think we'll see autonomous cars become 10 times safer than a human. I think the, the cost of autonomous transport will be so low that you can think of it like individualized mass transit. Um, the, like the average cost of, of a bus per mile for a city, um, not, not the ticket price because that is subsidized, but the average price is about a dollar a mile. Whereas the, the cost of uh, CyberCab, uh, we, we think probably over time, from a, the operating cost is probably going to be around 20 cents a mile. Um, and price, including taxes and, and everything else, probably ends up being 30 or 40 cents a mile. So, yes, and you will be able to buy one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, and uh, we, we expect the cost to be below $30,000. And I think there'll be an interesting, um, you know, business model where, like, let's, we, we do expect actually to, st to start uh, fully autonomous, uh, unsupervised FSD uh, in Texas and California next year. And that, that's obviously, that's with the Model 3 and Model Y. And then we, we, we expect to be in production with the, the CyberCab, which is really, Um, highly optimized for autonomous transport uh, in probably in, to, in, in 2026. <laughs> so, yeah. 
Before 2027, let me put it that way. One of the reasons why oh, the, the, the computer can be so much better than a person is that we have millions of cars that are training uh, in, on driving. So it's like, it's like living millions of lives simultaneously and seeing very unusual situations that a person in their entire lifetime would not see. But <laughs> hopefully. Um, yeah, exactly. So, it's, it's, so with, with that amount of training data, it's obviously going to be much better than what a human could be, because um, you can't live a million lives. Um, and it's also, can, it can see in all directions simultaneously. All right, so our autonomous future is, is here. Um, as I said, we've got 50 Teslas driving autonomously. Um, we're trying to give you a sense of what, what cities will be like in the future. And uh, when, you, when you get in, you'll see like, it's really quite a wild experience to just be in a car with no steering wheel, no pedals, no control. Alors quand vous monterez dedans, vous verrez que ça doit être une expérience vraiment incroyable d'être dans une voiture sans volant, sans pédale et sans commande. Mais après cette première annonce fracassante, la conférence a été suivie par une autre annonce et une annonce majeure pour le monde des voitures électriques. Quelque chose qui aurait dû être fait depuis très longtemps déjà. La recharge par induction. Regardez ça. Something we're also doing is, uh, and it's really high time we did this, is uh, inductive charging. So the rubber taxi has no plug. It, it just uh, goes over the inductive charger and charges. So, yeah. It's kind of how it should be. Et voilà qu'intervient l'annonce suivante. Si vous avez besoin d'un véhicule plus grand, voici le Roven. Un véhicule ultra dystopique. Regardez. Uh, also, what 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 what, what happens if you need a vehicle that uh, is bigger than a Model Y? The the Robovan. Now, can you imagine going down the streets and you see this coming towards you? That'd be sick. So this can, this can carry up to 20 people and it can also uh, transport goods. So you can configure it for goods transport within a city uh, or transport of up to 20 people at a time. Et si vous êtes déjà ébahi par cette conférence depuis le début, eh bien accrochez-vous car l'annonce majeure arrive maintenant. Je vous l'annonçais en introduction, mais cette dernière annonce m'a choqué et a surtout choqué le monde entier. Le futur est là beaucoup, beaucoup plus vite que nous le pensions. Et les mots ne remplaceront pas l'émotion que vous allez sentir en voyant l'extrait suivant. Alors accrochez-vous et regardez ça. Speaking of robots. So, everything we've developed for our cars, the batteries, power electronics, uh, the advanced motors, gearboxes, the, the software, the, uh, the AI inference computer, It all actually applies to a humanoid robot. It's the same techniques. It's just a robot with arms and legs instead of a robot with, with wheels. And uh, we've made a lot of progress with uh, Optimus. And uh, as you can see, we, we started it with someone um, in a robot suit, uh, sort of down. And then we've progressed tr dramatically year after year. So if you extrapolate this, you're really going to have something spectacular, something that anyone could own. Um, so you could have your own personal R2-D2 C-3PO. And I think at scale, the, the, you know, this would cost something like, I don't know, $20,000, $30,000. Probably less, less than a car is my prediction long term. Now, you know, take us a minute to get to the long term, but um, but fundamentally, at scale, the Optimus robot, you should be able to, to buy an Optimus robot for, I think, probably twenty to thirty thousand dollars long term. So, and, and and what can it do? It can, it'll be able to do anything you want. So, it can um, be a teacher, babysit your kids. It can walk your dog, mow your lawn, get the groceries, just be your friend, serve drinks. Um, Whatever you can think of, it will do. And yeah, it's going to be awesome. And I, I, I think this will be 
the biggest product ever of any kind. Yeah. Uh, that Optimus is not a canned video, it's not walled off. The Optimus robots will walk among you. Please, please be nice to the Optimus robots. So you'll be able to walk right up to them and um, they'll serve drinks at the bar. And uh, you'll directly, I mean, that's just, it's, it's a wild experience just to have humanoid robots and it, it's, they're there, they're just in front of you. Uh, so yeah, with that, um, let's party. Sur la chaîne, nous avons déjà eu l'occasion de voir beaucoup de technologies et notamment dans le domaine de la robotique, de l'intelligence artificielle et d'autres. Je suis donc très content d'avoir pu vous apporter cette conférence aujourd'hui qui est un peu l'aboutissement d'une panoplie de technologies toutes mises ensemble. Je suis convaincu que Tesla deviendra tout simplement la première entreprise et la plus grande entreprise de robotique au monde. Je ne sais pas ce que vous avez senti en regardant et en voyant ces robots marcher avec les gens marcher parmi les gens. Personnellement, j'ai senti une émotion assez bizarre, j'arrive pas à m'y faire. À chaque fois que je re-regarde le clip, je suis toujours un peu perturbé. La plupart des gens ne se rendent pas compte à quel point le futur arrive vite, il est déjà là. Je le dis souvent sur la chaîne, mais nous aurons bientôt tous un robot personnel chez nous. Si vous avez bien suivi l'annonce, le robot Optimus coûtera entre 20 000 et 30 000 dollars, et peut-être même probablement moins cher qu'une voiture à long terme. Et je pense que ce sera exactement comme les voitures ou comme les portables, tout le monde en aura un chez soi. Alors dites-moi vraiment ce que vous avez pensé de cette conférence dans les commentaires, ça a fait un boom énorme et j'ai vraiment envie d'avoir votre avis là-dessus.
Et si cette conférence vous a plu, n'hésitez pas à vous abonner pour soutenir la chaîne et surtout pour ne rater aucune des prochaines conférences des grandes entreprises. La technologie avance beaucoup trop vite. Merci d'avoir regardé et à bientôt. Thank <laughs> you.